This is Constance with Charming Custom Craft here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And I have a very special share. All of them to me are special. But um, I know I told you guys in prior videos, if you follow me um, more often than, than none, that I've told you that my mom used to make dollies. Um, now, please forgive the fact that this doll is probably 14 or 15 years old, at least 15 years um, so it's been put into a box. I'm actually pulling through plastic bins. So she does have a little age to her and some age staining to her. So I wanted to share this beautiful, and you'll understand when in the videos that I've shared before that my mom calls them Kimmy dolls. Um, she always made dolls back to when I was a little girl, but it's, it's her thing with every doll. She has a name. And if you guys saw the little Kimmy doll dress and the Kimmy Barbie last month or the month before, you'd understand. So um do you have a name for this one mikey okay well we'll just call this the the walking vintage doll because my mom uh when i was a little girl she got me this little plastic doll and maybe it because i'm going home and by the time i put this video up i'll be home maybe i can find a picture of me with this doll that used to if i hold her hand she'd walk with me um she was almost the same height as me so my mom um thought it'd be a cool idea to do one for her so she actually made her one and mine was plastic this is all fabric and stuffing um she made the dress she made the entire draw draw, draw doll anyway so this is a walking handmade doll that she will walk with you when you hold her hand so here it is oops sorry the doll I'm going to get to share it with you. Now, please remember, it's older, so it's been sitting in a box. So, the hair probably, by the time I have grandkids, will need to be replaced. So, I'm going to do a quickie lucky, And then, I'm going to share. Oh, pardon my family in the back. They're hungry. Um, so, obviously, you can see that my mom made the doll. She actually used these buttons for the eyes. And then she embroidered the eyelashes on and put her little mouth on. And then because this is, this is stains from aging. And then my mom actually would sew in all the hair, if you can see that. You can see that, well, it's yarn. You guys know. And then little uh, hair bows. And I used to put my hair, my daughter's hair like that. But it was also like me. My mom would put pigtails down because I had really, really, really long hair. But here is some little flower material. And my mom loves lace. And those who knew that I used to sell lace... Now you know what my mom used to use the lace for and why she's now... Jeffrey, can you please stop? Um, you can see what she uses the lace for when I send it to her. She'll make little dolls and certain things with it. But look at the extravagant lace, the scallop lacing. This is uh, Battenberg scallop lace. Um, it's kind of a mixture of both. Me, it looks like something that was on a, a kitchen curtain from back in the day, and it probably was. But she beat it down through here and hand stitched in these little embroidery appliques of flowers. Actually, I think she gave me some more of those um, to use her extra ones. Um, but you can see the arm. My mom used to make Cabbage Patch Kids too, so look at the arm. Look at the detail. She put a thumb. And again, it's been sitting in a box, so please pardon the stains. It's very. Well, it's not very, very old to my standard, but it, it's old to a lot of the ones that are younger. And then underneath, you can see that it's got a double layer here. Underneath, she has a slip on her. If you can see that, all the way up. I believe it actually comes off. Yeah, it'll come off too. She always did it to where my daughter can. And then, of course, she's got britches on, long britches. And I see if I can get to show her in her butt, and I know that's probably bad, but I'll see if I can show her butt. But look at the legs, the way my mom segmented. Seg, seg segmented them? I said that. Seg, meg, seg. Bent them. <laughs> probably bad. Um, but you can see it's pretty well stuffed, really nicely stuffed. My mom would actually use a, a wooden spoon to stuff down in there. Now, she did put um, like a hard piece of plastic down here so it would stand. And um, it's where she can stuff it to where she'll walk with her. Um, let me see if I can, I'll turn her over and then see if I can show her her bum. But you can see how much work she's done to the neck. Okay, so, of course she had to hand stitch this because she had to stuff it. So, this will actually come off. It has a snap on it. I don't know if I want to totally take it off. But you can see my mom made it all the way down here and it snaps here. You can see that it's got snaps. I'm not going to undress her because I don't think you want to see a naked baby. And then she has this one pinned to the outfit so I can always take it off to wash. Now this, like I said, is a very old handmade doll. 
but if you were to hold her hand, stand her up and hold her hand, she'll actually walk with you. But this is made in mind of the dolly that I got when I was probably four. I might have been three. But it's, it's a beautiful, you know, this is a back of her. Like I said, it's got age stains on it. It needs to be cleaned. But she made her. She's got some long legs and a butt. Nothing fancy butt, but just segmented to be like they're kind of the right, correct proportions. But my daughter was tall and long and skinny. Both my kids were. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the videos, enjoy the pictures, and I'll see you next time.